Welcome back. There's something off about the room that I'm standing in here. And if you've seen the thumbnail, you'll probably know what that is. And if I take a step outside, you will definitely see it, as this is the first slanted building I have ever built in this game. Most of you watching this are probably familiar with the LEGO Fortnite building mechanics, but if you're not, you're only supposed to be able to build in four different directions in this game, north, south, east, and west. So if I pull out my building blueprints and I try to place something like a staircase, you'll see what I mean. When you try to rotate it over to one side, as you can see, you can go in four different directions, and that's about it. But that all changes today. Before I dive any deeper i need to give credit where credit is due so go sub to grind geek as he is the first person to find this that i know of he made an excellent in-depth tutorial on how to do this i'm gonna show you guys how to do it as well today and i'm gonna build a new building in my city that i'm trying to develop here but yeah i wanted to stress that i am not the person who found this shout out to grind geek once again i'll leave him down in the description make sure you show him some love but yeah if you look at this building it's just a really weird site i played this game since it's come out every single day and i never knew about this i wish i knew earlier though because at this point i have 17 villages and i'm just now finding out about this technique that would literally change everything but i don't want to waste too much of your guys's time i want to show you how easy it is to do because believe it or not it's super easy to get this thing going i snapped together this tiny little shack for the intro of this video in about 30 minutes and that was with no prior experience doing this so once you get the hang of it it's going to be super easy for you guys to do as well anyway to get started on this you want to be on on flat land it's gonna make it the easiest especially on your first go i would basically always recommend doing this on flat land unless you want to try slanting a build downwards which we'll get to later because i need to do some experimenting but for the sake of your first time doing this you're not going to want to do that you're going to want to next pull out any pillar you would like i'm going to go with this beach corner here and you're going to line it up against this foundation that you put down just like i have done here i'll take a step back so you guys can see the way i lined it up once you do that you can go ahead and break the foundation now stick with me here because we're almost done but next thing you want to go ahead and do is make your way over to the toy section and click on the large dynamic foundation if you mess with this enough you can do it with any size foundation but large is going to be the easiest when you're first starting so do exactly what i did by putting one right here and one right next to it snapped onto it so they're connected and then it's as simple as jumping off of this and pushing it so it turns in a 45 degree angle so once you do that you want to push it up against these two pillars and as you can see we have a 45 degree angle now, which is exactly what we need to get started. But when you pull out your foundations, you'll now see that it'll be building at a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna go ahead and build up a couple of foundations and then we'll pull out any floor. I'm gonna go with this thin floor here. You just need a floor that you're able to see under. So once you can see under it, you wanna pull out a pillar once again. You wanna make sure you put your crosshair right on it. And at that point, you can actually just use the nudge feature to nudge it over out away from any connection and at this point you have a beam that is at a 45 degree angle which means if you want to pull out something like a wall you can immediately start snapping them in a 45 degree angle which is absolutely insane and at this point we're not quite done yet but we're getting there if you want a solid foundation for a building like i had over there it's going to take a little bit more effort than what i've showed so far and i hate recording at nighttime so i'm going to wait for the daytime the next thing you want to do is establish a true foundation for your build so the way to do that is actually just going to be through putting your crosshair one once again on the 45 degree angle build and using the nudge feature to move out as much as you can as you can see here now i have a 45 degree granite foundation and this is where you got to do a little bit of work yourself and get under the foundation that way you can put another pillar that you can snap to we can break the foundations now and essentially anytime your crosshair is on one of these 45 degree angle builds it'll build at 45 degrees so now that we can go lower we can nudge this back into the ground up here and if we did this correctly as you can see See now uh, it's a little too low actually so let's go up one maybe and that is basically perfect okay so now we can break this one and you guys will see in a second here but as i place these down they are perfectly up against the grass so much so that it's jittering which isn't a worry when we're ready to design and things like that we'll just go ahead and put a floor here that'll also be at 45 degrees but for now we'll just break that but yeah that's basically it for the tutorial part so if you're just here for that then you're welcome and also go ahead and show love to grind geek once again what an amazing find i can't believe we went this long without having something like this in the game but i'm so happy we have angled builds now anyway don't click off the video yet because we're going to be doing a bunch more experimenting with this 45 degree angle build because i think there's a lot of potential to do some very unique things that we haven't seen yet 
and oh my goodness this is insane anyway once you have some builds in the ground feel free to just destroy all of the parts that you don't need so here's the plan with this we're gonna go ahead and put down some floors that are gonna be very temporary so don't even worry all right let's see what we can do i wonder if i can place a slanted build oh i can i just need to put a floor there okay and just to take you on a walkthrough of what I'm doing with this build here, because as you can see, we have a cool corner that's angled for the first time. Is that the right spot? It is. There's no gap there. Nice. So we have two entrances to this place. This is going to be a small little building. It's not going to be super tall or anything like that. But either way, let's continue onwards with snapping these into place. And I got a little bit carried away, but if I jump down, you'll see exactly what I built, and it's basically done besides the floor. I know it's not the most impressive looking building, but trust me, we are just getting started with this new method. It's day one, and you know, we're still just trying things, but I think this will lead to a lot more crazy builds in the future. And there it is. Building number two is complete. That took me a lot more time than I wanted it to. And, you know, we had some trial and error. And as you can see, if I run up to this wall, it actually tries to push it. Luckily, I put down some pillars that should stop that from happening. But yeah, this is our newest building with a very unique feature of 45 degree angled walls. And this is actually just one of two buildings that I'm going to be putting in this area here as far as the city planning goes. But I think the biggest part is obviously the 45 degree angles because that's just opens up so much possibility in this game one thing i will say is it is a little difficult for me right now to get floors at a 45 degree angle and walls and make them look natural as you can see the roof up here is not angled it has this little jagged edge to it same thing on the other side obviously but i'm gonna continue on with this build because like i said this is one of two things that i'm gonna be building in this area some of you guys might even be able to guess what i'm gonna be building here but if you can't then you'll have to wait and by the way if you do plan to mess around with these sideways builds and you end up building something pretty cool and you want want to share it join my discord we have tons of cool channels over there for lego fortnite as well as a building showcase channel i'm personally super active in there and i'd love to see what you guys are cooking up and this is super random but chickens have been all over this place and i have no idea why i swear i've never seen this many chickens in game but they're just everywhere i i swear they're just everywhere around here anyway welcome to the survival series i know that was the longest intro ever with a tutorial slapped into it but this is a survival series episode where we're going to continue building out the crazy craziest empire on lego fortnite if you haven't noticed i'm trying to pick it up on the builds quite a bit because i need to build a lot more i mean i really don't have that much yet i gotta also connect these two villages together that'll happen over the next few episodes so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss a thing anyway coming into the building that we started last episode we have quite a bit done now as you can see the walls look a lot better but one thing that still doesn't look amazing to me is this white floor as a ceiling i just have a feeling it would look a lot better with this gray gray ceiling if i take the torch out of my hand you can see that it looks pretty nice with a dark ceiling so this is what it looks like right now and this is it after guys let me know what you think of this i like it a lot more personally it gives a nice dark vibe and if i take the torch out of my hand once again yeah i uh, i love it i still gotta put lights all up in this place but i've had no bright core in my inventory for a minute oh wait wait i i literally have bright core what am i saying I promise I'll get around to designing this place soon, but for now, lights will do. Also, check out this light that came in the Lion's Castle bundle. This thing is insane. I'm honestly thinking about keeping it here and then just putting storage on both sides. Another thing that I don't think I've shown on camera yet is this tiny little doorway here. I mean, this thing is puny. It's as big as I am. But you can sneak through here and we have a secret room, which I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I have another one on the other side as well that's not complete. And the reason it's not complete and the reason I'm not doing any more design is because I'm out of wood. Who would have thought this building behind me here would take up a lot of my resources? I swear it's always as soon as I fill up my chest of wood, I end up using it on one build and then I'm left with literally nothing. So we've got the perfect inventory to go on this adventure, but I realized that at the top of my screen here, if you ignore the high complexity area, you'll see that I still have a basic compass on, which I have no idea why. I don't know how that slipped under the rug for so long, but I need to throw on a survival compass. So let me go craft one of those. I've honestly as embarrassing as it sounds i've never used 
used one. So before we go out into the wilderness today, I'm gonna check out the survival compass for the first time. And here's a big moment on the channel. Our first ever survival compass. I can't wait to put this on. I've seen other people use it, obviously, but for some reason, I don't know why I never used one of these. Let's throw it on and see what a difference it makes. And okay, so you can see exactly which direction every single one of your villages is in. And I know I'm late to the party. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching already have one, but for those of you who are like me and didn't throw one on when the update came out, make sure you do it because yeah, it definitely looks a little bit better and you can actually see stuff and where it is. Anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna go grab a bunch of wood, hopefully fill up my entire inventory and I'll see you guys in a second. And with the power of editing, we now have a full inventory of wood plus nine eggs. I don't know, I hit a tree and a bunch of chickens fell out of it. it I, I don't know if that sounds crazy, but it happened i swear anyway the next thing i want to try is a little bit ambitious maybe a little crazy but i want to try putting floors slanted downhill and to do this i'm going to use a little bit of a different method but with the same general principle where i go ahead and put a dynamic foundation down to get it started so i believe somewhere like this should be the right spot to put it and to me this kind of makes sense to be able to go like this and just place it yeah, okay. So we've got a sloped floor for the first time. That actually wasn't even that hard and I didn't need to do all of this, but let's see if this will actually work. So let's use a floor that we want to, which would probably be the street. We also need to bring the sidewalk to where we want it to be, which would be here. And it looks like this doesn't want to place. So I got to get the measurements correct and I'm going to build a bit. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. I got a little bit carried away. So let me take you guys through what I built because it took me a very long time and a lot of snapping and nudging and trying to find the perfect spot for things. And as you can see, it's not perfect. The road has a little bump in it, which isn't the end of the world. Sometimes you gotta make those sacrifices. But if I come over this way, you can see that we have a angled street. And as you come down this way, it flattens out. Building is disabled, which is very unfortunate. One day when building is no longer disabled and Lego allows us to build freely, I am gonna build a highway out this way that's gonna be a sky bridge that goes over to the desert biome because I need to reactivate my desert village. That way I can get more blast powder for my villagers. Anyway, that's all in the future. I wanna come back to the present and show you guys a little bit more about what happened here. So since this wasn't built on the traditional Lego grid, there's bound to be things that aren't perfect. And as you can see, if you come under this thing, I had to fill the gap with these tiny little floors and same thing down on this side. You know, if I could build, I would still have a lot of work to do. But for now, we're just going to have to leave it as is. If we come over this way, the building warning gets resolved, which is good. Like I said, I wanted to put two structures here. And this newest structure is the beginning of our gas station for compost bins. So I'm going to fill this place up with a bunch of these. And like I said, I want to be able to drive around this city. Compost bins are going to help with that. That way we can make batteries and store them inside of here which is essentially our gas station mini mart. You know, we're gonna have some chests in here. We're gonna have some aisles so people can check out things. And then we're gonna even have a counter here if possible. As you can see, if I pull out a build and I try to nudge it over this way, building is disabled. But if I put it here, building is not disabled so i'm running into some problems when you're playing this game every single day you know stuff like that is bound to happen the point of this episode was just to show you guys the slanted builds and i feel like i have some good examples of that now overall this was a success i love the angled street i love these angled builds here and then of course we have our shed that we started with but overall i hope you guys learned something from today's video if you did drop a like so you don't lose it again shout out to grind geek for the original tutorial linked below and thank you so much for watching all the way until the end of this one make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a future episode of the solo survival series expect this building to get finished in the next episode i know i said i would finish it today but with this discovery dropping i had to make a sacrifice and i'll finish that one soon but yeah thanks so much for watching all the way until the end it's been boy kaz i'll catch you all later peace